Hello everyone. Welcome to Microsoft Dynamics NAV Development Training. The objective of this video is to understand what we got after installing the Microsoft Dynamics on your computer. When you install the full setup of Dynamics NAV into your computer, then you got following program installed on your computer. The first one is Dynamics NAV 2016. This is only for the users. User use this this program to interact with NAV. So the user can use different features of NAV using this program. The second one is for administrations. The administrator can configure different ports, different databases and the thumbprints and certificates for NAV. And the th third one is the administration cell. This is the command window where the admin can configure all the important configurations. The fourth one is the important for developers. Dynamics NAV 2016 development environment. Actually, I installed the NAV 2016 version. So that's why it is showing the Dynamics NAV 2016. So developer will use the development environment for the different versions to develop things in NAV. The last one is also the development shell. It is for developers. So developer can use development shell for different for run different commands for NAV. So let's see how the development environment looks like. If you click on that program, the Dynamics NAV development NAV environments is open and looks like this. If you close this, you will see on the file, here is an option for database. You can use different database from here and you can create new database also and you can delete and close. You can see the information of the selected database by click on information. There are two tabs over here. You can see the information of database server, database name and the server instance. I will tell you what, uh, what it is in the later session. So this is the development environment and after selecting the database, if you install a default version on your computer, then you got a demo database and then you can see the different objects by clicking on tools and object designer. Here you find the different nav objects like table, pages, report, code unit, query, XML port, menu sheets and all. In all, you can see all the objects in one place. In table, here you can see all the tables that NAV use. Here, if you go down and scroll down to end, you got different tables, so many tables in the system. See? So, you can create a new table from here. You can look into the design of any table from here. And you can run the table from here. This is all the button for different purpose. And if you want any help, then you can click on help. And the help viewer will open like this. And you just have to enter the, the text over here and the different different title related to that will be shown and you can see all the information by clicking on a particular option so if I click on the cal variables then it will show me the what is variable and different information over there and how you can use it and what are the type of variables all the information is available here you can click on the indexes you can see the different sections are here if you click on on a particular section you find a different topic and click on display it will show you the uh, related information for a particular topic so this is the help window from dynamics NAV that is very important for developer to understand what function what variable do what actually so this is the development environment 
this is the table object page object and different objects you can use for changing and uh, to complete the different purpose of a user so by changing these tables and pages and reports code units and all and query an XML port you can uh, do a different type of works and to complete and achieve the different functionalities to accomplish a user requirement I hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you for watching